Hello, Papa Church family. This is Dustin Cerns, and I'm standing here next to the Sea of Galilee. It was here where Jesus, walking along the lake, saw Simon and Andrew casting their nets into the water and said, Come, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. We formed a lot of meaningful relationships, and some of the uh, most meaningful were with the youth and young adults. They're in the Sabbath school class. Uh, and seeing them grow as spiritual leaders, inviting their friends to church, teaching and leading out in the Sabbath school, leading out in the youth praise team. It was awesome to see God working in you and through you to be make you fishers of men. May you continue to grow with Him and to do everything in your ability to give everyone a meaningful invitation to accept Jesus and to unite with the Vibrant Adventist group. God. Hello, Papa! Hello! Happy anniversary! We are thinking about the first Sabbath we came to visit Papa. Jonathan and Irma Peinado invited us to come pay a visit and it just took one Sabbath and we knew that we wanted to make Papa Church our church home and no regrets after that. We had such a wonderful time, deep friendships and spiritual growth and we appreciate all the investment that you put into our lives and ministry and we carry that with us forever. Happy anniversary! Bye. Happy Pop All family from Jeff and Darlene Villegas. We just want to wish you a happiest 40th year anniversary. Our favorite memory from Papa was how friendly and loving the church is and has been. And we just appreciate those memories and those moments we spend together while we were at seminary. We hope that God will continue to reach, richly bless the church. And uh, we miss you all. We love you. And hopefully we can see you soon. God bless. God bless. Uh, the best. When, uh, when I first arrived, Bert Randall told me that he had eight people that he had been studying with that wanted to be baptized. So one of the first things that I got a chance to do there at Paw Paw was to have a baptism. It wasn't my work that made it possible, but I was the one who was in the pool. But, uh, my time is short. And so I'll just say that I love you, and hopefully we'll get a chance to come and visit you sometime soon. God bless, and congratulations on 40 years. Papa Church, just want to say happy anniversary, and thank you from the Wagner Smith family for uh, receiving us so warmly, and the memories we have when we were here the first time when we were in the, at Andrews and I was in the seminary. Thank you for suffering through my sermons and treating me like family. And uh, now we're back with our kids and just so thankful for all that you are and what you do. So thankful for our experience so many years ago and just excited to be back with you. That's right. So we have one more thing to say. One, two, three. Happy, Happy anniversary! If I had to summarize in one word, one phrase, what Paw Paw means to me, the word that comes to mind without a doubt is family. I remember three years ago when Andre and I moved to Michigan, we left behind supportive grandparents and sister and brother, cousins, and a, a very warm church family. And we wondered, I wondered, would we ever find that same kind of nurturing community of love and support that we left behind? And I prayed that God would guide us to the right place and he led us to Papa. Right before we went to seminary, uh, Pastor and Mrs. Guy told us all about Papa, so when we got there, we knew exactly where to go. And with such a unique name, it was easy to remember. <laughs> and when we were there, and when we attended Papa, we were not disappointed. Actually, we were very impressed um, by that church, by the families that were there, uh, and by the, the loving way that you ministered to us while we were there to serve you. Yes, we learned a lot about hospitality, the importance of hospitality, and um, family ministries, children's ministries, so much that we learned, so much that we still... Um, we still it impacted our ministry yes, to this day. Right. Uh, the things that we saw working there, we, saw, we thought, wow, more churches should be doing things like this. Papa means family to us. It's the place that we, uh, it's, a, it's the safe place that we were able to grow in our faith and grow in our relationship and grow in our ministry. And I think the other thing is that if you visited twice, is it the rule? Twice, then you remember. 
we always like that. So something that we've taken with us wherever we go, whether we've been serving in, in pastoral ministry or whether we're just uh, members in church being fed, uh, we really appreciate um, Pawpaw as a part of our growing in, together as a, as a family and also in our journey with Christ. We will never forget that very first day, that it was on October 3rd, 2015, when we stepped into the PPAC for you. It was such a warm and loving welcome, and we've never experienced such a thing anywhere else. We also enjoyed our time working with the Pathfinders. We are so glad and so thankful for the opportunity that was given to us to do our TLP at Popo Church and to be part of this church family. Our goal now is to make the churches where God will send us to as welcoming, as loving and as well organized as Popo Church. Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary! Hi, I'm Daniel Royo and my wife Danielle and I served at the Popo Church as uh, student pastors in 2008. Uh, Papa will always hold a special place in our hearts uh, for the special memories, the love and the kindness, uh, as well as the way in which the church took us in. Thank you so much, Papa, and thank you again uh, for the special memories that we have in our hearts. And for and happy anniversary, Papa Church. And happy anniversary. Greetings from Sacramento. Hello, church family at Papa. Happy 40th anniversary. Hi. This is Liz Saunders coming to you from Sacramento with my daughter Isabel. I just want to say that God has truly blessed the Paw Paw Church the past 40 years, as I know how strong in faith and friendliness and love Mom, since the something? first Sabbath that we went to visit your church. And I know that you will continue that way can until I the Lord comes. Something? Sure. Good morning, church family. About how they dealt with ranch animals to try to keep them near. You could either build a fence that would divide who's in and who's part of us and what animals are not. Or you could dig a well because the animals need to drink and they'll come to the well. And I think over the years, Papa has been an incredibly nourishing well to so many people who want to know about God and his love and truth and to be part of a community that is loving and truth telling. The real power of Papa has always been in the people. A people who buy into, uh, I believe, a God-given notion of what church is and what church can be and what a community of people can be. And they believe in it and they live it and they pass it to the next generation and they empower the next generation and they get out of the way of the next generation so they can continue to build and live this life of faith together. It's a remarkable thing to see. Hello, Papa Church family. This is the Nuds. Tabor and Heather and our three boys, Owen, Callan, and Declan. We want to say congratulations on the 40 years for your church and also want to just thank you for the experience that we had, Heather and myself, when we were at the seminary. You guys took us in and loved us so much and we are so grateful for those years, 2004 to 2006, and we just have great memories of the time there. Um, currently we're in Tennessee. I'm working as a chaplain at an elementary school and middle school, just right on the campus of Southern. And um, yeah, enjoying life down here. We wish you guys the best and uh, success in all that you guys do. Take care and God bless. Papa is a place that your kids want to call home. It's a place that they can feel comfortable in serving and being part of the church. No matter where I am, no matter how long it's been, Papa, you're still part of my family. Happy 40th anniversary. Nothing stays the same. Change is an undeniable reality of life. And as all things are changing around you, I encourage you to stay faithful and true to the culture and the values that have made you who you are as a church. Papa is a church of refuge. It is a place of love and safety. Papa is a generous, hospitable, and giving church. It's a place of professionalism and excellence. And it is a church who values the Christian education of their children. Hold on to these things. God bless and know that we love you. What Papa still means to me is it's a shining example of a church that takes the gospel call to create community seriously. That everybody who comes into the Papa Adventist Church knows 
This is a safe church. This is a church of refuge. This is a place where you will be accepted regardless of who you are, what you've done, what you look like, what your standing is in the world, how much you agree or disagree with us. That This is a place where you can call your community. You can call your family. Paul Paul has taken that call of the gospel so seriously. And it's something that I still hold with me today as I pastor my churches. As I, I pray that they can become churches of refuge, that they can become safe places uh, like Paul Paul was for so many people um, that have experienced the, the community there. Ted Toms had been my wife's pastor when my wife was in high school, Sylvia. And he said, Sylvia, you need to come up and check out Paw Paw. And we thought, we'll just go up there and preach one time and that'll be good enough. Well, that became our church family, just not only through seminary, but a few years later, you had the privilege of coming back and being invited to be your lead pastor there. What a joy it was to embark in a ministry together as a family with Sylvia and with Dominic. And it's hard to forget that my daughter Sienna was born while we were pastoring there in the Paw Paw Church. From baby dedications to baptism, ministry was not just with friends, but an expanded part of our family there in Paw Paw. I'm standing today on the banks of the Jordan River where Jesus himself was baptized some 2,000 years ago. I had the privilege of being baptized just a minute ago myself. And I want to encourage you as I conclude this little thought of memories and as you're celebrating 40 years in your building, keep on keeping on in Jesus. If you haven't made that decision, make it today. And if you've made it before, recommit so that we can be a family again together when we're in God's kingdom at the foot of his throne.